Okay, so tonight we're going to be making the new AccuQuilt mini oven mitt. And it's called a mini oven mitt because it is smaller than the original classic oven mitt. This one goes down to just about your wrist. Again, I've already quilted the fabric to make the outside shell of the oven mitt. For this, we've done a layer of cotton batting, a layer of Insulbrite, and then our fabric. Now, I opted not to put fabric on the very back of this. I'm going to be making a separate lining piece so that there's no raw edges exposed inside my oven mitt. So now I'll cut out the lining pieces, and then this is a little hang tab. And you notice there's more of a sharp curve and then more of a rounded curve. And on the back side, we're going to make a mark three inches from the bottom edge on both of these. Start with this piece. And we're going to sew just from this mark around the curve to the other mark. Now we're going to fold this back out of the way, right up to the stitching lines. I'm going to add a clip just to hold it down. And now we're going to add this side. And again, we're going to sew just from those lines all the way around. Next step, we're going to sew up these sides. But before we do that, let's make that hang tag. So we're going to take this piece, fold it in half. I'll give just a little finger press there. And then fold those edges in to the middle. Fold it in half again. We'll take it to the iron, but we're just going to top stitch down both sides, and that gives us a little hang loop. We're just going to put it right on the side here, and I'll add a clip just so it doesn't fall. And then we're going to do a stitch right down the sides at a quarter inch, so stitch just to that line and down. But do be sure to do some back tacking right there to keep it nice and secure. Now, had you quilted it with fabric, you could be done. Just bind off the edge and call it good. But now I'm going to repeat all of those same steps to create my lining. Now, we don't need any hanging tag on here. So we can actually just take this and insert it directly into the shell. Now we just need to bind off the raw edge and we're done. So I have this strip left over from the bottom trim on this. So I'm just going to use that. All done. Definitely have to work on my binding technique. It's a really tight space, but I am really happy with how it turned out. And now I have a cute matching set. I did figure out a good trick, too, so that every time you take this off, the lining doesn't come with it. So if you want to see that, drop a comment, let me know. Also, let me know if you want to see me making a full-size oven mitt to match these.